There's a dirty little secret in the industry that the Dice Tower, one of the biggest board game influencers out there, has a hostile attitude towards conservatives and Christians. It's especially surprising given that Tom Vassell used to be a youth pastor, but he's really, in order to keep his clout, his secular fame, his, uh, you know, a reputation within the industry, bowed towards these worldly people who just want to uh, push a terrible LGBT agenda on children, uh, groom children into these lifestyles, and uh, promote hedonism and Satanism at every turn. It's really sad to watch Christians bow to this kind of thing and then be pressured into attacking fellow Christians like myself. But this is where we're at. And I'm going to preface this. I don't think Tom's a bad guy. I think he's just been brainwashed, and I think he's been under pressure for too long for these people, and he's just gotten used to this sort of thing. It's 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 like a, a frog getting boiled slowly. Uh, if if the temperature doesn't rise too fast, he's not going to jump out of the water. So it, it's been it's been years of just slowly increasing that temperature on Tom and his gang, and uh, they've just gone full tilt for this group. All right. My name is John Delarose. I am an unabashed Christian culture warrior, and I am fighting against this craziness, this totally uh, terrible persecution going on in the industry, not just to me, but to others uh, who are identify as Christian conservative as well. I'm a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and I'm making my own card game, which I'm sure the Dice Tower won't review. Uh, they, they'll be a little too scared to do so. So get on my subscribe star. Uh, if you like my content, if you want to support a real alternative to these companies, it really needs to be done. Uh, and it's imperative that we get folk really just on board with just like, you know, supporting the alternatives. Otherwise, we're never going to get anywhere. Uh, we're already doing way better than I was on Patreon before those guys banned me. Uh, and I appreciate everybody who's on there. You've been rocking it. Uh, and we are on our way up to producing great content. All right. All this started last week. What happened was I joined uh, the Game Manufacturers Organiza uh, Association, which is called Gamma. And reviewer, uh, name, his name's uh, Rodney Smith. He's from Watch It Played, another huge channel. Uh, made a post lambasting me, and he continued this on Twitter. He was joined by prominent board game designer Eric Lang, who's made an entire career out of race baiting and hating conservatives. Uh, he's actually made statements uh, requesting the death of Republicans, which, uh, you know, whenever whenever Tom Vassell wants to feign decency or not wanting to get involved with controversy, he's totally fine with, like, really, really crazy statements like that, but not normal people. No, <laughs> let's keep them out of the industry. So Rodney took exception with a couple of my videos. Uh, again, like, uh, one thing that's weird about th this entire situation is if you don't like my videos, just don't watch it. Like, I, you know, that doesn't mean we can't board game. doesn't mean we can't do a top 10 list together, Tom. Uh, I can talk about board games. I can talk, you know, I'm, I'm very involved in all of this stuff from the production end uh, to the artistic end uh, to just playing with my family. So, yeah, you know, if you don't like a video, just don't watch it. I mean, I, I just don't get why these guys have to make everything uh, political all the time, but this is what they do. All right, so Tom uh, feigned offense at my video, which Rodney Smith called out, one of them, which was the top five uh, hottest board game reviewers. Now, this went on to do very well as a video. It's, it's uh, getting close to 5,000 views right now. And uh, I just went over some very beautiful women and said they were such. Now, I was very respectful in this video, except for except for the final one. I made a joke, uh, which is a, um, uh, I guess, somewhat alluding to being crude it was not crude uh, by in and of itself but uh this woman uh, at the number one very obviously uses her instagram uh to you know push her body as a reason to pay attention to her content so you know it, it, was, it was fair game in that instance for for the women who did not do that uh, I, I actually was just promoting their channel and the like very innocuous content but it was pretty funny and i did this to be funny uh as usual but Tom took exception by humor. He said there's no place for trash like that uh, in board gaming. And uh, I don't understand what my video content has to do with a convention or his Facebook group or whatever. But Tom actually went out of his way to look for me, to find my name, because I haven't posted in there since last year, and ban me uh, just because he, he was so, quote, offended 
uh, by a video that, that said women are beautiful. All right. Now, Tom, uh, being a very offended guy, would never have anybody controversial uh, who makes crude jokes or anything like that on his channel or associated with the Dice Tower, of course, because, you know, Tom's got those kind of standards. Oh, wait, uh, just a few, you know, uh, months ago, he had Trey Parker from South Park on the show. So I guess the answer is if you're accepted by mainstream culture and if you are a celebrity and you can bring him views, Tom doesn't care about any crude jokes or whatever. I mean, South Park's gone so far that, uh, you know, they, they've had kids anally raped by alien sh probes on their show. They've had uh, Butters, uh, one of the characters, actually be a, 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 a pimp to prostitutes on the show, a, a kid doing this uh, as humor, of course. And, you know, I'm not condemning South Park. I'm just pointing out that Tom does not actually care about crude humor or... Uh, or something, uh, you know, that's kind of controversial like that to be on his show or to be associated or to be out of board gaming. Uh, he only did this and he's prefaced his email to me as, as he talked because I was attacked by this whole Rodney over the gamma situation. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been on his radar whatsoever. And he, he, he straight up said, this isn't because of the Gamma situation. It's 100% because of the Gamma situation. Look, if I was uh, popular with this crew, if I had my own TV show like Trey Parker, uh, Tom would probably be asking me to be on the show almost immediately. But I don't. I'm just a small conservative creator. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, and, and the problem is I'm right-wing overtly. And so all, the, all people who are right-wing have to be harassed out of the industry. And Tom is honestly a part of this. Now, it's really sad. Uh, I, I've watched the Dice, Dice Tower for years. Uh, I've you know been to conventions with these guys. I've met them before. But now that there's an outrage mob surrounding it, Tom has to take action, uh, which is which is rather, uh, rather silly. Uh, I, I'm glad I'm on his radar, I guess. This video is going to get a lot of clicks because of it's Tom. Now, I did give Tom uh, a chance to actually do something about this and, uh, you know, this was all private, so he didn't have to do this. He could just unban me and all's well that ends well. But unfortunately, Tom uh, decided to you know take that stand because uh, he's so offended. Again, uh, he has Trey Parker on his show. And this totally isn't about politics. But if you look at his track record, it totally is about politics. And we're going to go over this soon. So Eric Lang, one of the primary people who attacked me, was on Tom's show. Now, Tom says he doesn't publicly get involved in politics ever. But if you look in June 7th, 2020, right before the election, uh, he had Eric Lang on to literally talk about politics and to talk about, quote, racism. Now, Eric Lang's never experienced actual racism. Uh, he's had quite the opposite. He's had people praising his mediocre games specifically because he's black uh, and then applauding him specifically because he's black. Uh, he gets further in the industry than he would if he were any other designer simply because of his skin color. It's it's ridiculous, and that's the only real racism that happens in the industry these days. Now, Tom's a gleeful part of this, having Eric on to spew his vile hatred, to spew everything he said he he does against Trump and against uh, against half of the country uh, to for an hour on his show. Now, if he didn't want to get involved, why would he do that? Well, of course, you know, it. I don't want to get involved unless it's the right people getting involved. And that's what it comes down to all the time. Now, Eric Lang made a tweet uh, actually uh, requesting Republicans' deaths. So this is the type of person that, you know, sh you know, he, he can't handle, Tom, uh, to have anybody in board gaming at all. Uh, somebody who acknowledges women being beautiful. But Republicans getting, you know, killed? Yes, we'll have that on the show. So that's, a, that's Tom's stance right away. And if you think that it goes and just stops there, there's another board game designer. His name's Robert Burke, who, wrote, who made a beautiful game called The Silver River. It's a wonderful sci-fi game, no politics to it. Again, uh, he's just known to be a conservative, just like I'm known to be a conservative. This is the whole, this is the whole deal. So since Robert Burke was known to be a conservative, uh, Tom refused to review his game. This is a direct quote. Regardless of what I think of any people involved, I can't review your game right now without inviting a lot of public controversy. We didn't care about that with Eric Lang. He doesn't care that Eric Lang is an extreme leftist who wants Republicans dead. That's okay. That's not controversial at all. That's not That's not a problem. But because Robert Burke uh, voted for Trump, uh, oh my gosh, we better, we better cancel his board game reviews. So... You know, in a real world where an industry was fair and wasn't politically agitated like it is right now, the Dice Tower would have just reviewed this game. 
the Silver River has nothing to do with Trump or politics or anything like that. There's nothing controversial in it. It's just because of the identity of Robert Burke that Tom Vassell acquiesced to this crowd again. Now, he's hired people recently who have just gone off the rails too. This Suzanne person's a part of the Dice Tower. Uh, she's been part of like their reporting on Kickstarter for a while. And as you see, because there was this game last year where uh, this company had a rule book with a frog on it, she calls it a white power symbol and tries to get this game canceled. So this is an active employee of Dice Tower trying to cancel a board game because she wants to make a political statement. Now, this went further. Now, the, the publisher of this, uh, Jeff Burgeon from TGG Games, was joking back and forth on his Facebook about how she must be fun at parties. Somebody, somebody said that to him. And he said, you know, we'd show her a good time at a party. Now, she went further and actually accused him of rape threats, which is ridiculous. Obviously, that was not the case. He was just saying, look, we're, we're entertaining people. We're good people. And if she ever hung around us rather than just like throwing a fit online about people and stirring up controversy on behalf of the Dice Tower, uh, then, you know, she'd have a good time at a party. It's really sad. Now, this ended up in a result of Virgin getting banned at Gen Con and removed from Gen Con because this lady has so much power. And that's the real problem with people at the Dice Tower acting like this. Tom and his, his cohorts here have so much power within the industry that what they say, what they do, actually does have ripples throughout the industry. Now, when they remove me, they're validating the fact that Rodney Smith can go out there and harass me over being a Christian and being a conservative. And this is more about my Christian mores and Christian values than that silly video. Don't get me wrong. If you want to look into what Rodney says more, it's really just about the fact that I take a stand against sin, against fornication, against, uh, uh, against sodomy, and things like that. And that is actually what Rodney takes exception with, because he wishes he could sodomize me, I guess. That's a joke, Tom. But Tom validates that. He validates all this stuff when he goes and makes actions like he did by removing me from the Facebook. Now, if you go back to my Facebook posts, all I've done is post about games. I've asked questions about games. I've made comments about games. I've just been a healthy, contributing member of the community. But because my identity is an outspoken Christian, Tom, as a former youth pastor, has to uh, remove me from the circles in order to uh, appease these people who hate Christians, who hate everything that the Bible stands for, who, if Tom actually spoke out about his actual beliefs and, and didn't try to hide them, uh, would be condemning Tom as much as they'd be condemning me. And that's the reason he's doing this. I mean, honestly, he's afraid of losing his prestigious position because of being a Christian. Now, I'm not going to call Tom a bad Christian. I'm not going to do that sort of thing to him. I mean, again, like I said, I think he's just been uh, under a lot of pressure from this industry for a long time, and it's gotten to him. And I think uh, the hires that he's made is an attempt to appease these people so that they don't come after him. But at the end of the day, Tom holds the same views as I do. He's just scared to be outspoken about them. And he he wants to show that people like me shouldn't be outspoken about them uh, and it helps to harass conservatives out of the industry. Now, board gaming is a conservative uh, sort of thing to begin with. I mean, it's it's a logic-based thing and with math a lot of the time. And it's something you do with your families to get them off screens. You you just hang out on a Friday night and play a game with the kids. That's really what board gaming is about. And they're trying to make it into these spaces where it's like, you can't go to a convention without like dudes and dresses sitting there that you have to explain to your eight-year-old what's going on. And that's, that's the end result of this. They're trying to destroy this beautiful hobby, much like they've destroyed movies and comics, science fiction, and everything else, by replacing normal families with just complete weirdos. And as this goes further, as this pushes further, there's going to be less room for people like Tom, even. Now, Tom is not woke enough for the wokes, and I got to tell you that right now, Tom. This is a bad move on every level. And I should not have to be harassed out of spaces where I'm not being political, I'm not causing a fuss. I'm not making trouble because these people want to make trouble. It's their issue. And if they want to be the troublemakers, they're the ones who should reap the consequences of that, not me for just trying to exist. It's very sad. All right. So this is it. The Dice Tower's got this really bad history of just hosting controversial extreme leftist figures, of targeting conservatives and blackballing them from getting reviewed, and of, of course, uh, having people with extremely dirty humor on their, their program 
Now, I'm not somebody to just complain without proposing solutions. And Tom, uh, I do got to give you credit. You will, you did talk to me. Uh, Rodney and Eric are too scared to do so. They're literal cowards who like to cry bully behind their big platforms and then block anybody who has any sort of disagreements with them. To your credit, you didn't do that, which is at least a little bit of a credit. So I'll call on you now, Tom, uh, for a couple of things. One, um, of course, unblock me from the Facebook group. It's ridiculous. I'm just posting about games. Two, uh, have somebody like myself on to do top tens or uh, talk about and review board games. You know, maybe maybe the ones that that nobody else wants to touch because they're conservative creators or they're associated with TGG games or something like that. I'd be happy to to help out. And uh, number three, just don't bow to the mob. You've got the power, Tom, in the industry beyond anybody else. Uh, if you just took a stand for Christians and said, you know what, we're not doing any of this nonsense. This is a family hobby, and uh, I'm going to stand by my Christian brothers. Uh, you would have a huge influence for the positive in culture, which could actually change lives. It's not just pushing meeples across a piece of par- cardboard. That changing lives is important. That's why I do what I do every day. And that's why we're trying to bring people towards the light of God and not just uh, talk about the game and their mechanics or whatnot. There's more important things out there. All right. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Tom, you know where to find me. And uh, leave a comment down below with what you think. I hope that we can make a real change in this industry. And I will tell you guys right now, because I know Rodney's watching this. I know Tom's watching this. I know Eric's watching this. No matter how much hate gets directed my way, I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to be silenced. I'm not going to be harassed out of the industry. You can't stop me from making my content. You can't stop me from making my card games. And so it's much better just to be friendly. I mean, how hard is that? Golden rule, right? Treat others like you'd like to be treated. Then to continue on this path. It's just never a good idea to continue on this path with somebody who's willing to actually fight for what they believe in and die for what they believe in. Are you? All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be back soon.